The first thing I want to show you how to do is use the eye command to set up your grill for grilling and searing steaks or something like that. We're going to use two to three fire starter cubes. You're going to light those up in the center of your firebox and give them uh, 10 or 15 seconds to get going. And once they're going, you'll take a couple of pieces of your lump charcoal and just kind of set it on top where it'll help get those lit. And then just give that 30 seconds or so before we start the eye command. And once I have the starters lit, I've put my grill in place. And then we're going to use the eye command uh, app to use the fire it up function to stoke this fire. And I'm going to have some video going on the side of the screen here where you can see what's going on. You can bring that up and set it for anywhere up to 30 minutes and in this case I'm gonna set it for about 20 minutes or so and hit the set time and the fan starts immediately and then I'm gonna close the lid and open the top vent fully and with the top vent fully open uh, we'll just let that run and let it count down for 20 minutes or so and then have a look where we are and as my grill timer winds down here to the end the fan stops it resets and my grill dome temperature here is up to about 525 degrees so we'll open it up and have a look this guy's got a nice hot fire going and you are ready to do some grilling this process for setting up for grilling you can change it around by the number of fire starters you use or how long you run the fan it can take anywhere from uh, 15 minutes to 30 minutes to get to whatever temperature you might want to use based on the amount of charcoal you have in the grill and how many starters you use now that I've shown you how to start up for grilling, I'm going to show you how to start up for low and slow barbecue or any other kind of cooking where you're going to be cooking indirect or at lower temperatures. And I'm going to start up by just lighting up a single fire starter cube, putting a couple of pieces of charcoal on top of that, and then I'm going to set my heat deflectors and grill racks in place. Once those pieces are in place, I'm just going to close the lid and I'm going to crack the top vent open just slightly maybe a quarter of an inch and if you're going to cook at temperatures of uh, 300 degrees or less you're going to want to use the vent damper on the eye command to close that vent to about 50 percent and if you're cooking at temperatures higher than 300 you'll just leave that open all the way and for low and slow cooking you're going to want to leave this vent mostly closed i would say you're going to be about 25 percent past the first mark you're going to want to let the fan do all the work if you're cooking at temperatures above 350 or so you might can open this to the first mark but for low and slow you're going to want to leave this fairly closed the next thing we want to do to get started here is engage the eye command with the app so i'm going to have a video running here on the right side of the screen showing you what's going on so once you start the app you're going to want to press the cook now button and when the barbecue screen comes up you've got two options here you can select the type of meat that you want to cook and give it some additional information about the meat or you can press the skip mode if all you want to do is just tell it to run the grill at a specific temperature so on this test I'm just going to choose brisket and then press next I'm going to tell it that we've got 10 pounds press next and the default pit temperature comes up to 225 for the pit and 195 for the food and I'm just going to leave it there and then we're going to press cook and then we need to tell it which temperature probe we're going to use for the meat I'm going to select probe one tell it to start the eye command and then the fan will start running the next thing you want to do is put your pit probe clip on your grill grates put your pit probe in and close the lid and this guy will start talking to the app and after 20 to 30 minutes depending on how you're set up my grill's parked right at 225 and it's ready to go you can actually go ahead and put your meat on uh, early if you want to and you just open the grill up put your meat on and then insert your meat temperature probe into the meat and you're ready to cook 